But even with the job market picking up, some tech companies are still having a hard time filling positions because they simply cannot find the quality employees that they want to hire. The solution, Top Tal. It is a top sourcing network that connects business with top talent. And get this, only 3% of applicants are accepted. Wow. So exactly how does Top Tal find potential employees? Co-founder and CEO Tasso Duval joins me now. Top Tal, it's like top talent. Exactly. I wanted to make sure I was saying that right. Uh, you have a very elaborate screening process. I was looking at this. You look at uh, language and personality, obviously, but there's a timed algorithm test. You do training. I mean, this is obviously all very important. Only 3% of the people get through your filter? Approximately, correct. How is that possible? Because everybody's saying that they can't find programmers. They're so desperate for people who can code. How are you turning away 97% of the people who apply? Well, they're simply not qualified. So there are lots of freelance marketplaces that are on the Internet today. You have freelancer.com and a variety of others. The problem with these marketplaces is the quality. So you have a lot of users. You have tens of millions of users. So people log on and they're just not, not great talent, but you do find the good ones. How much does it cost on a comparative basis? I mean, for a company, if they're going to go out and hire someone, is it, I mean, do they pay more because you've already done the screening and they don't have to assume sort of the liability of hiring someone full time or what is it like? Yeah, so generally it's more than, let's say, freelancer.com or some of the other marketplaces, but it's generally less than, let's say, Deloitte or McKinsey or Accenture who offer some engineering services of a similar caliber. Do people who come in and work part, uh, you know, work freelance, I guess it is, um, event, it, how many stay at the company after that? Well, we have a very elastic network, so we have hundreds, if not thousands, of contractors that are consistently working on projects, and they can finish up a project, come back, and then work with another company elastically. Right, but do you lose a lot of people who end up going to the company full-time once they're there? Or? So... We have a buyout clause that allows you to actually acquire the talent once you work, have worked with them for a specific period of time. Yeah. And so oh, that is very conducive to what the market wants in general, and it's, it's really helpful for How me. have things changed over the past year or two? Because you, know, you have the White House and people in Washington trying to make the case that the job market has gotten a lot better, a lot more competitive. But if you look at wage growth, it's not really there. If you look at the quality of jobs that it seems that people are getting, you see a lot of part-time work. What's your experience? How tight is the labor market? Oh, it's extremely tight. And really? the reason is, is because the high skilled labor is still in ultra high demand and is still very constricted in its supply. So you don't have enough college graduates in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's a problem within the United States. So there's more demand than supply. Our business helps fill that, but keeping the quality. There's a lot of problems with outsourcing to India and China, right. even Brazil and Argentina and places that are in the same time zone, mostly because of language reasons and quality and the engineering studies that they have abroad. We make sure that they have the same degree that a top Silicon Valley engineer will have so that they have a very congruent experience to hiring in-house. So where do you find your people? Because obviously that's the big secret. I mean, people can't find quality engineers. Are you finding them in the U.S., outside the U.S.? Where are they? So they're mostly outside the U.S. The U.S., or the, rather the talent within the U.S., is contracted and or hired by U.S. companies. That's no problem. Now, they want more talent, so how can you do that? Well, you either go and build pipelines outside in Brazil, Russia, places where there's a surplus of engineering talent, or you have to figure out some other clever solution. What we've done is we've created a company that has essentially done that for every other company, and you can leverage our platform, our infrastructure of recruiting and vetting to quickly yeah. allow contractors in engineering to work with you. Or sadly, we could just train Americans to do these jobs since there's so many people here who need jobs, <laughs> but that's not happening, so you're finding another solution. Thank you for coming on. appreciate your time. Thank you.